Hi, I'm Susie Morris. Let's take a look at the three main whites in the Mucini range. Mucini have a zinc white, titanium opaque white and a translucent white. White is at the centre of any artist's colour palette. In fact, often as much as half to three quarters of the paint used in a painting is white. It's often what holds a painting together. So when some artists have said to me that they prefer to spend more on colours and save on buying a cheaper white, well, they're actually making the whole paint film inferior. Now let's start by taking a look at Yusini's Zinc White. Now Zinc White is often referred to as soft mixing white because it's semi-transparent when compared with titanium white. It's still a very pure white for medium lightening of colours without the high intensity that titanium white has. For this reason, it's ideal for mixing skin tones, like this Caucasian skin tone, as it's much more muted. Let's now take a look at Mucini's Titanium Opaque White. Mucini's Titanium Opaque White is a pure, highly opaque, brilliant white, due to having a lot of whiting in it, along with titanium dioxide, so it has the maximum tinting strength. Titanium white reflects almost 97.5% of light, so you really don't need a lot of this to lighten pigments. It's ideal really for obtaining opaque pastel coloured shades. Titanium opaque white is also very effective thinned down, producing an almost fog-like appearance, good as a glaze for atmospheric effects. The next white I'd like to show you is Mucini's translucent white. Mucini's translucent white is in essence a titanium white with an ultra-fine primary grain. It's semi-transparent and has very reduced lightening properties. The impact this has on a pigment is very subtle and this is one of my favourites as it's a pigment I have a tendency to use a lot of. I love its milky translucency and the ultra-fine grain which is great for producing atmospheric veils and smoky effects such as I've applied here using a Da Vinci Badger softener brush. All these three Mucini white shades are produced with selected combinations of sunflower oil and safflower oil, two natural vegetable oils, which are much lighter and less yellowing than linseed oil that's used in the non-white colour shades. Consequently, the white shades have a longer drying time, but that can also be helpful if you're working wet into wet. Schmincke also have some helpful whites in its range and one of those is a new oil primer called Underpainting White. Underpainting White is really good for the lower layers of an oil painting. This is a warm semi-opaque white with fast drying ability, a great base from which to paint and if you want to alter the colour it can also be tinted with other oil colours as well. And in this case, I'm using Mussini's Brilliant Yellow. The essential part of its binder is a special purified, relatively quick drying linseed oil. Its special drying properties, fast drying, makes this white perfectly suited for underpainting artworks, as it reduces the danger of crackling effects in the coloured shades applied on a white layer and should only be used on proper primed grounds suitable for oil painting. It's worth noting that this shouldn't be used as a mixing white as it's not been designed for this. It can show a slight tendency to yellow due to the linseed oil, unlike the other whites mentioned before such as zinc white, titanium opaque white, translucent white or flake white hue. Now the good news for oil painters is that Schmincke have engineered an excellent unleaded version of the classic Premnitz White. This is now referred to as Flake White Hue. Flake White Hue has a combination of titanium and zinc white pigments in a very pure safflower oil, which makes this light, warm, semi-opaque white colour shade that speeds up the drying time and stabilises the film. Oil colours mixed with flake white hue also mix together to make a really buttery and smooth consistency. It has a lower tint reducing power and opacity than the oil colour titanium white. 
For more information on any Schmincke product, please visit their website. As an artist, you'll find a lot of extensive and really helpful information, ranging from technical and safety data sheets to information on how to use all of their products.